Hey boys and girls, today we are going to be making this mixed media Celtic tree. So to get started, you're gonna get a piece of blue construction paper and you're gonna hold it portrait style so it's longer up and down than it is side to side. And you guys are gonna start with a pencil. You don't need to do this in Sharpie. It's just if I use my pencil, you won't be able to see it. So I'm just going to use a Sharpie, but you guys go ahead and start with a pencil. And you are going to start by drawing kind of like a leaf shape towards the bottom of your paper here, just like that. And then you're gonna cross over the bottom into like a curved X. And then you're gonna curl up both sides just slightly, just like that, like you're making a dog face. And then you're gonna add a curved line that goes through the center here. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this just to make it a little bit easier for me. And I'm just going to draw a curved line that goes through, just like that. And once you have this shape done, you're gonna get your cup and you're gonna start with the open side down and you're gonna place it around or like center it on that cross there. So some of the edges of the knot are going to be sticking out and that's okay. You're gonna hold it down with one hand and trace around the bottom. Just like that. And once you have that, you are going to start with the roots of the tree. So you're gonna extend some of these lines here that cross over and you're gonna make them like wavy, just like that. And each line you're gonna turn into like a wavy Y. So I'm gonna extend here too. And I wanna make sure that I'm not adding too many. So the roots here, I'm gonna add some going from like the top of the circle here, but especially because you guys are using pencil, when we get to the paint, they're gonna be really broad lines in comparison to the pencil. And if you're making a bunch of them, it's going to just end up like a big black blob at the bottom of your paper. So make sure that you're kind of spacing them out. Um, it might look a little bit awkward and that's, that's fine. All right, now from here, we're gonna start with the tree. So I actually want you to kind of use this top sides of the circle, kind of following along to extend up and get more narrow, just like that. And then we're gonna add in our tree branches. So the same thing with the roots, we're doing wavy lines. This time you're gonna do W's. Again, making sure they're spaced out because when we add the paint, they are going to get much, much thicker. So I'm doing a W with each one here. Okay, and once we're done sketching all that out, we're ready to start with the chalk. So you guys are gonna get some green, bright green chalk pastel and some white chalk pastel and also some blue. So with the white, you are going to fill in that circle. And then with the light green, you're gonna kind of make like a doorway shape and then along the line here, the grass, where the grass would be, you're gonna fill in here. And then with the blue, you're just going to go around the edges. Okay, and once you have that all um, colored in, you guys are going to get a tissue and you are going to blend it back and forth on your paper. Now, what will end up happening is it will erase some of it so if you feel like, you know, it's completely gone and you need to add some more, just go ahead, go back, add some more chalk and blend until you're happy. Before you begin painting, it should look something like this, where the circle is much lighter and then you have this kind of green glow that's going around the tree. So to get started, we're going to start with actually our green paint. And what we're going to do is add in those little leaves. So you're just basically adding dots all around the edges of your paper. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the green here. I'm gonna go all around. Um, and I'm not really worried about completely filling it up yet because I'm gonna alternate green and then I'm gonna dip right into the white with still some of that green paint on there. And it's gonna mix together. And then I'm gonna get some like light green and white and dark green and that's what I wanna do. So you're gonna alternate green, white, green, white until this is all filled up. All right, so I filled up all the edges. If you've noticed, I did leave a little bit of blue, so that way it's not just like green 
out to the paint and you don't get to see that blue hue um, because that's really what creates like that glowing effect. And so what I'm gonna do now is start on the grass. So I'm gonna add the green first and right along where I would want the grass, I'm just going to paint little lines. So I'm going from the bottom and pulling up. And once I have that green done, I'm gonna go ahead and get some white and I, again, not rinsing my paintbrush. And I'm gonna add a layer of white just above the green in the exact same way. All right, so once that's done, we're ready to add our black paint. So what you're gonna do is take your black paint and over all of those pencil lines that you drew, you are just going to paint over. Now, um, one trick for this, if you want your paintbrush to be like really thin, you can pinch it between the paper towel with your fingers and kind of flatten it out. Um, and that's just a like kind of a neat trick to use if you wanna kind of thin out your paintbrush. Um, especially when we get to those branches and roots. So again, if you find that you made those pencil lines too close together, then I want you to just kind of avoid doing them um, and just stick with the ones that you feel like, you know, aren't gonna, that are gonna look like roots. Um, so don't be afraid to just avoid those pencil lines if you, if you added too many. Now another trick that you can use um, when you're adding these branches is when you start here, you're starting towards the trunk of the tree. And then as you extend out, you're gonna lift up on the paintbrush. So I'm like barely touching the paper and that's gonna help make those lines a little bit thinner. So I press down and then as I get closer, I just kind of gently lift up. So I'm gonna fill up each one of these branches and Again, I don't wanna to go too much over top of where I put those little dots. So I'm just gonna extend into them just a little bit and then stop. So if my lines go past it, that's okay. I'm just going to ignore that. All right, so I filled in the base of the tree as well. And what I want you to do is just go back. If you feel like you can add in a few more branches, then you can go ahead and do that. You wanna extend them all the way to where the green is. All right, boys and girls, that's all there is to it. I hope you guys have fun with this and can't wait to see them.